has expired. So areas in from NBC News. This is today. Live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller West. Morning, everyone. I'm Michael Smith reporting live from Rockefeller Plaza. Thank you so much for watching today this morning. Today is March 18th, 2022. Thank you for watching today's edition of Today. Actually, this is not March 18th. Today is now Thursday, April 13th. Hey, I'm Michael Smith reporting live here from New York. Okay, we have some breaking news coming into the newsroom right now. As you all may have seen from last night's projection, uh, as well as uh, our post on Twitter, and from some various other sources, and from the Associated Press, NBC News, and its affiliates can project. The constitutionalists will have control of the United States Senate when the Senate race is over and all votes are counted. When all votes are counted, the constitutionalists will have control of the U.S. Senate. This has not come at, as a shock to really anyone as the party has been on the rise uh, in the last few days. I have not been able to get a statement from the Federalist Party uh, on the really the shocking uh, upset that has occurred during this Senate election, but they have done well, but not as well as uh, everyone thought they were going to do. Uh, but at this hour, we do know that the constitutionalists will have control of the United States Senate when all votes are counted. I wanted to get Joseph Montana on the air with me this morning, uh, but unfortunately he had some prior engagements, so he could not join me this morning. But we do know at this hour that the constitutionalists will control the U.S. Senate at this hour uh, right now. Uh, I want to tell you with the vote count that we have right now uh, and the seats that we have uh, at this hour, and now this is as of last night, uh, in the last two hours, the final projections from, this is from the Los Angeles Broadcasting Corporation, uh, constitutionalists will have 15 seats, while the Federalists will have 10 seats. That is a difference of five seats. The Federalists uh, lost five seats, but uh, the constitutionalists gained five seats. Uh, and really, I just want to say the constitutionalists did a pretty good job trying to get the vote out and trying to get uh, good candidates on the ballot for people to vote for. Uh, but at this hour, again, the constitutionalists will have 15 and the federalists will have 10 seats. This is really a uh, very interesting story that is breaking this morning at this hour regarding the election. So that is all the latest election news that we have at this hour and this was the senate class two elections uh but shockingly that i found out uh, and this is uh really crazy that a lot of people voted for centaur exilus the man that was uh really uh frankly i got popular with the whole uh knee on the neck uh, controversy with him pretending to be George Floyd, the racially charged issues. Um, that is just really crazy with him saying, I can't breathe. And I'll put that on your screen again one more time so if you need a refresher on that. He said he could not breathe and he pretended to be a, and I quote, fat black man. You can see there he pretended to uh he could not breathe uh, with group oversight and administ administrative officials pretending to be Derek Chauvin and putting a gun to Centaur's head. And keep in mind, these are the people that are representing us in Congress. These are the people that are going to be representing us in the Senate, which is just absolutely disgraceful. He made it to number two, I believe, uh, as well. But I want to remind everyone that Joseph Montana is at a concert, so he could not join us. But that is the news we currently have on the Senate race. So coming up, we're going to be talking about some latest news coming out of L.A. And the crime number skyrocket in that city. We're going to be talking to uh, some people about that as well. I'm going to be reporting the latest news on that coming up at the L.A. Crime Skyrockets coming up on today. It's time for me to get set up for therapy, and I use this room as my office. But the desk is over here, and so... Chances go up as this low begins to meander farther away from the southeast and Gulf Coast. So it has been in this commercial since the start of the week, right? Uh, we've got that dip in the jet stream moving east, and eventually that's going to help guide it. You can see throughout the week we've had that big ridge settled in, so the jet stream hasn't been, you know, giving this any. The uh, Today Show no will kick right? too. something to kind of prod it along, and so that dip will help. As we've looked at the Gulf and Atlantic moisture generally affecting the southern states, now we'll begin to see the mid-Atlantic get that feed off of the Atlantic Ocean. So these areas will be apt to see more of the way, more in the way of not just storms, but also some locally heavy downpours. So 
locally possible or locally heavy rain possible. All right, well, good morning. Welcome back to today on this wonderful, wonderful Friday morning. Okay, I want to talk to you about some of the gang violence and some of the rising crime that's been going on that we've been seeing uh, actually in Los Angeles at this hour. Uh, as many new gangs have been organized and have been labeled terrorist organizations uh, by the government, uh, including a gang called the Downtown Conquerors. They have been recently organized as a terrorist organization, uh, and I quote, uh, someone asked them in DMs, and then a Papa John uh, asked them, does the Downtown Conquerors wish to be organized as a terrorist organization? And an Asher Hindo replied, yes. So this is some really stunning news coming from uh, L.A. at this hour as recognized terrorist organizations and recognized uh, gangs have been running around L.A. committing various crimes and really has been calling, causing all-out havoc uh, in the streets of the for the people of L.A. And it seems that we haven't been receiving much clapback or anything from the uh, L.A. government nor any major politicians. And really, if when Akon was elected, we kind of expected this, right? I mean, Akon is a criminal himself. Why do you think he would try to advocate for less of crime? I'm not sure. But it's definitely an interesting situation indeed as well going on with the crime. As many new gangs have been organized. On Saturday. Have a great Friday morning. Reporting from New York, I'm Michael Smith. Thanks. Wait a minute. Just a little bit. They go right back up on Sunday, only to come down on Monday as the next front comes in. Monday. And your temperature's a little bit more seasonal now. Even though at that temperature you're a little bit above average, believe it or not. It's going to feel cool, but believe it or not, it's still warmer than you would typically be. You take a look at this map. I think it shows you everything you need Had to know. Have a wonderful a Thursday afternoon. Going today. Have a great morning. Afternoon. So maybe you're expecting.